Said Business School is part of Oxford University. Oxford is a large, complicated, old university, and Said Business School is a modern and forward-looking part of the university. Specifically, the business school, as the name indicates, uh, has a community that both studies and teaches about and learns about business. How do we do that and, and how do we do that that's perhaps a bit differently than other business schools? All business schools are going to worry about how to teach you and about strategy and accounting, about marketing, about operations, and the fundamental building blocks of business. We do that and I think we do it quite well. On top of that, however, I think that the world is changing. The world is changing in pretty dramatic and in some cases quite quick ways. Whether it's the advance of artificial intelligence, whether it's changes in attitudes towards globalization, whether it is what's happening in the workplace, or whether it's demographic change that's changing customer bases. We need to understand how the world is changing so that we can arm young and older business students, including everything from 18-year-olds to executives that are my age and older, uh, to be able to deal with those changes. We have about a thousand different students in our programs and at least a thousand or more who come to our executive education programs. Their backgrounds differ dramatically. So we have our undergraduates. We have an extraordinarily uh, popular undergraduate program called Economics and Management. Our students in that program are some, somewhere between 18 and 21 years old. Their backgrounds, they're smart, they're motivated, they're ambitious uh, young people. Then we have our MBA program. Our average MBA student is, uh, has five years of experience, so think late 20s. They come from all over the world. Uh, if I look at the current profile of our class, we have 5% from the UK, 6% from the rest of Europe. We have 20% from North America, 5 or 7% from Latin America, 10% from Africa, 15% from East Asia, 20% from South Asia, 6 or 7% from Australia and New Zealand, and a few percent from the Middle East. As you might gather from that list, it's a completely global set of students. Not only are they global, but they come from all kinds of backgrounds. Some have been in finance, some have been in consulting, some have been entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs, some have come from completely different backgrounds. We also have a program called One Plus One MBA, which combines the MBA with other degrees around the university. These students come with even more diverse backgrounds. Uh, because what they're coming to the university to study is not only for their business degree, but also another degree, which might be water policy, or it might be African studies, or statistics, or it might be the social science of the internet, or yes, even theology. So those students come with a variety of backgrounds. Our executive students, whether in an executive degree program, like our EMBA program, or in our other courses, come with an even wider range of backgrounds. Uh, they might have 10, 15 years or more of experience experience in the public sector, in the private sector, managing and running just about everything and anything. Uh, I am never shocked by, uh, well, I, I, it's impossible to be surprised when you sit down next to one of our students because once you understand the diversity of their backgrounds, you realize that anything is possible when you sit down next to a side business school student.